I struggle knowing they can't see my face, and my face is the main giveaway for my expressions of my inner thoughts that reside in my head but come up through squinting eyes or bitten lips. My eyes go wide when I express my discomfort in sitting in silence when I speak out or make weird noises, for my brain just looks differently and I blame the ADHD. <laughs> I'm just trying to cover up the fact that my life is falling apart at the seams, while all seems well, because if you look at me, I'm still covered by my hair. No clear signs of discomfort coming from within my soul. No one would know whether I had a speech impediment or I was just having an off day, taking away the pain that I had, no longer valid on why I misspeak constantly. My mind is always occupied on where my tongue may be placed to properly pronounce the letters of the words that belong to the sentences that I said or out on last few questions. And no one understands it's not my fault. I simply can't be broken again. No one understood me when I misspoke all my words, so no one understands me even when I pronounce it all right. I simply think different. And no one else thinks that's okay. But my brain is okay. It's not my fault when the thoughts come out in utter disarray. There are people out there who are far worse than me. Is worse than even a word? I guess I'll just wait and see what our heart tells me. I strive to be perfect. For someone to look at me and see no imperfections, or just to see me as a human who works properly. One that can smile with strict teeth, that can sing and talk without the fear, the fear of being judged like those around me. Like there's surround sound TV, the people standing above me looking down while I can stop on this ground. I can never know for sure by making the right choice by speaking out, and half the time I speak for quiet and words do not come out. People stare and question me why I do not dare speak up. I simply state, I know very well how people react, and they act as if I am too much, like my burden weighing on their chest. But much to people's surprise, I end my days with tears and a consistent cry. A cry for me begging for help, just wanting to not be in doubt. I know I have much to offer, yet people don't seem willing to listen. I am simply a brand new theory. Since that passion for her life, a want to succeed in whatever it is I do, a hope that most don't align with, and an energy not many can match. I put the effort I have into all that I do, but the kindness I have in my eyes are the gateway to me. So maybe I should wear my hair down and let the hair curl over. The hair can hide away in my tired, burdened eyes and block those from around and see my tears fall to the ground. No one will see the expressions that give me away. I simply shall sway and just deal with the pain, in quiet and in silence, with my lips being bit the pain away from my face as I hide in plain space. I wish I was still misunderstood, but I couldn't talk. For now, I have an excuse for why I'm so washed out that the color that drained from me as my cloud sucked out my rainbow. But I can talk, and I am understood. I might fall a lot, and I might stutter 24 7, but those are excuses that I have made up to make me feel better, to create a cover for why I'm just so alone. So I hide under a stone, hoping to be known for the person's bones that are found years later. Note that simply says, Reader, 